morning guys welcome to today's video Sophie's not going nope today we are on a mission another mission today we are taking this sweet girl to the vet it's true and she's going to the vet is the crack of dawn and we're up early so early you guys like it's not even 8 a.m. and we're headed out to the vet if you've been following our journey, then you know where we're going. We're going this morning to see if our Dalmatian puppy, the puppy that we bought in September for our daughter for her birthday, our 11-year-old daughter for her birthday, we're going to see if she's actually deaf. When we bought the puppy, we bought her on a health guarantee contract and we have a year to determine if there's any issues. She does have one blue eye um, and she is liver colored and we're gonna go see if she's deaf. We suspect she's deaf. Our, we've had two vets assess her. One, when she was young, couldn't tell because she was really distracted, said she doesn't appear to respond, but she can't tell for sure. And then we had another vet uh, look at her just last week and she's like, yeah, that dog is deaf. I told her to sit by using the hand signal and she sits there and like waits she, for the door She closed. loves to go outside, this girl. And then she drags you down the steps so you almost fell on your face. Cool. Yeah, fun days. Fun she's times. Still and she's still fun there. times. Okay, cool. okay. So Sam, what are your predictions? How deaf well, do you obviously think? Obviously she's deaf. You think she's deaf? I think she's like 98% deaf. In both ears? Yeah. Okay, so Sam is on team deaf as a doorknob. Sophie, what do you think? I think she can hear like deep loud voices. You think she can hear some oh. toes? She heard that. I don't know, it's hard. Oh. No, didn't hear that. I don't know. You think she can hear uh, certain tones? Oh, yeah. 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 Gabby is still sleeping. She should be up. She's probably getting ready to, to come downstairs. She, ha so she won't be able to weigh in, but my guess is that Gabby thinks she's deaf, but my guess is that she does hear tones. I don't think she's 100% deaf, you guys. I think she's right up there, but every once in a while she does I think respond. she has this one little spot in her ear where she can hear. Yeah, so we're gonna see. We're gonna find out. We're gonna take you guys along with us. All right, we are on our way. I got the Daisy dog right here with me. I did not feed her. We didn't feed her because like I told you yesterday, she does get car sick really terribly. Has them to be broader. You can see, you can already tell she's struggling. Um, uh, that can happen. Like. Uh, mo mo lots of puppies get car sick, but usually they grow out of it at this point, especially because we've taken her in the car enough times, enough times that she's thrown up in every single time. And that can happen with ear problems, with hearing problems, because you need to be able to regulate your balance through your ears. Yeah, DZ, you'd be stuck in the house all the time if you're deaf, if you never grow out of this throwing up. Let's turn the heat down a bit. That helps. That always helped me when I used to throw up in, in the car. Anyway, we are on our way. I filled in all the paperwork in the car. I got a towel. Sam thought of bringing me a towel because, yep, yeah, like I said, this girl pukes. And it is snowy, blistery day, but we're headed out. Super important to us. We're just the kind of people that gotta know you guys. They said we probably won't be allowed in, but that has to happen, that has to happen. We are, I'm gonna try and record what the vet says to me about her hearing so you guys can all see if we were right or if we were wrong because you hearing, determining if your dog is hearing or not is really tricky. All right, so we're here. We're just waiting for them to come out. Daisy be watching. She's sitting here on my lap growling at everybody. We went through the drive-thru to get coffee, to get Sam coffee. Ugh, I puke on her. Anyways, um, and the lady's like, oh, you have a Dalmatian, is she a puppy? And Daisy's like this. <sighs> Dalmatians are guard dogs. Molly and Ruby think that everybody on earth is made for them. They're their best friend and, and Daisy's suspicious, but she's also our most gentle dog. Like I can't imagine her ever being vicious. And she loves kids. And you should see her, she's got her eyes glued. She's like. Never hear, never ever hear this girl growl. She's just sitting here growling, growling. Anyways, so I had to print off an intake paper and I had to print off um, that rate, date of rabies. Oh, I had to print off like her vaccination record. And so I never knew what her weight was at the last appointment because they never told me. And she weighed 27 pounds, you guys, 27 pounds. And that was like a month ago. Wait, maybe two months ago. It was just before Christmas, so a month ago. Yeah, she weighed 27 pounds. She's probably like 30, 30 pounds now. 32 pounds probably even. That's how much she's grown. All right, so she's gone in. I felt so bad for her, you guys. You know how Molly went running with the vet, and with Brandon, went running with Brandon, and then only when she got to the door, she's like, oh, 
no, I'm not going in there without my people. Well, Daisy, I had to like roll her out of the car and then she turned around, tried to climb back up. The little girl had to like drag her away. She was really gentle. They said if she gets bad for them, they'll come and get us and we can go in. Hopefully she gets bad. All right, we got our dog back. We're gonna go home and we're gonna share with you guys what the test said. The, the question here on the table, the question on the table right now is, is our Daisy dog deaf? And if she is deaf, how deaf is she? Is she like 50% deaf, like maybe deaf in one ear? Some people believe that if dogs have one blue eye, they could possibly be deaf in one ear um, and hearing in the other ear. Could that be the case with our Daisy? Or is she completely deaf? Like what is the answer? Is she deaf at all, you guys? Is it just our imagination? Because she does kind of seem to respond sometimes. Or are we just faking it for views? Like what is the deal with Daisy Dog? Is she deaf or is she not? We're gonna go home and we're gonna share with you guys when we share with Sophie. All right, we're home. Everybody come here and tell you the news about Daisy. If she's yeah. deaf or if she's not. So don't look around, you guys haven't cleaned up yet. Daisy chewed something over there. Okay, so deaf or not deaf? I think she can hear some things. Deaf or not deaf? Deaf. All right, everybody pretty much thinks that she's deaf. Your dog is not a hearing dog. Oh. She's deaf as a doorknob. Deaf as a doorknob. So we were right. I remember, I wish I had the, I wish I knew what vlog it was in. I remember telling you guys right from the beginning, like maybe she's deaf because she slept like the dead Did and she, barf? she barfed all over me. I had a blanket, she still barfed all over me. Uh, she did really good at the vets and I said to her oh, okay so is she deaf and she's like and I'm like she's not deaf and she's like no she's she she doesn't hear and I was like wow anyways I felt like crying I kind of still feel like crying because hearing like news like that about your dog like and having it a hundred percent verified even though we knew like I don't know I just feels like a bit of a loss Molly's like don't worry you still have me you still have me um, but yeah, she's deaf. She's deaf. Uh, as, as deaf. She is as deaf as you can get. That's what they said. She's deaf, you guys. So there ends the saga of the deaf Daisy dog. For now on, she will always be the deaf Daisy dog, and that's okay. I'm going to get her a color that says Daisy deaf, and that I'm deaf on the back, so that uh, if she ever gets away. Anyway, I have some really great ideas on how to train her to do recall outside, and we're going to just deal with it. And like I said yesterday, you guys should know, things like this are always a part of the greater plan, are always a part. And just like I said, don't worry, Daisy, nobody's perfect. And Sam said the same thing. You're our dog now, Daisy, and you will always be our dog. I'm just gonna deal with it, figure it out, and we're gonna learn. We're gonna learn and adjust. Okay, so we are back in the car. I literally spent, I literally spent my TikTok every second that we were home working on stuff with Sophie. We're working on a big surprise, you guys. If you guys follow Sophie on TikTok, which is Finn and Sophie, Finn and Sophie you'll already have seen the surprise. I actually am shook by the amount of people on TikTok. Because usually kids are like a harder, harder group of people. <laughs> they usually are the ones that do the most hate. But anyway, the, I'm shocked by the level of support Sophie got on TikTok. People telling Sophie, you know, you gotta do your research, gotta do your research, and yeah, it's true. There's a lot of research to be done. So, anyway, Sophie shared a big, huge surprise over on TikTok. I guess that's where she's sharing all her surprises, and she's got a few of them. Anyways, we are, so what is it, your TikTok? Finn and Sophie. Finn and Sophie, if you want to see, Debbie has her boot bag buckled into the car so you know we're ready to go. We're ready to go to the barn. Is that like we go every other day to the barn to see the boys? The days that we have to go there, it's like takes all of our time, takes half of our day. And so I don't get as much of the things done at home that as I, that as I want to do. But a lot of you guys are sending me personal messages saying like, wow, Laura, you're doing so good with Penny. It makes my heart so happy when people send those to me because Typically, not everybody wants to like see mine and Penny's journey. Most of the people are more invested in the kids and their journey. So when people are sending me those things, it makes me like even more motivated to do more with her. I'm super happy that I'm learning a different way with her. And the last time I worked with her, she didn't get some of the things. And then the next time I worked with her, it was like a light bulb went off. Like super exciting. Anyway, let's go to the barn and find ours and see what trouble our boys are in. 
just saw Finn. He's just strolling down to get a drink. Thinking it's just having a normal day off. But we're here. Yeah, we're here. It's minus three out, but it's warmer today than it was yesterday. It was minus one because of the wind chill. Today, because of the wind chill. Today is a bit windy, but it's sunny. Sunny. Ooh, all the horses are here today. Ha ha, <laughs> We knew you were sneaking out for a drink. He's like, oh darn. I'm caught. <laughs> Give him a treat. You got a treat? Do you have a treat? I'm like that grandma that always comes prepared with treats in her pocket. Gum in her purse, you name it, I got it. All right, I'm going with Gabby. Because there could be some action. Personally, I love horse shenanigans. I love them, I gotta catch up to Gabby. You know it's a little warm out when I have no mitts on. I can't tolerate the cold at all. Also, cue the pro, pro, cue the pro rot vest. Another reason it's important for me. Hi, Oak. Hi. Oh, he's like, I know you got some stuff in that pocket. I will give you one because I know your owner would let you. There you go. All right. They're all headed back for a drink. Imagine if you were a horse. Oh, I see Chino. And I see another horse pooping right in front of me. Whoa. We both tried to go. <laughs> Played the righty. Whoa. Played the righty lefty game with a horse. Okay, so, oh, they're all looking. I see Storm, he's like, <laughs> oh my God. So basically Chino's leaving and Storm was watching Gabby go to Chino and he was glad of it, but he's gonna be ridden today too. Can you guys hear my heart beating? Those moments when it beats so hard that you hear it in your ears. He says, nope. He's like, I don't care how many times you rub my neck. I don't want to go. You see Storm in the background? <laughs> he was watching. Now he's like, hmm, should I run or should I stay? He's watching. See him? Funny. Funny. Another thing I learned in our course is to always try and match your energy with your horse. So if you're like flying with energy, which I am today, um, then you're probably not gonna wanna like try working with your horse if your horse is feeling lazy as heck, which Chino is, whoops, Chino is a really quiet horse. Wouldn't you say he's a quiet horse? Yeah. Low energy horse? Yeah. Yeah, I definitely would too. All right. Woo -wee. When I say it's cold, I mean it is cold. My ears are cold. I should have brought my headband. All right, I have to go out and sit in the car and message this lady about bearded dragon stuff. You guys have been following the bearded dragon thing and you're wondering like, why does my mom never say that I can have a bearded dragon? And I can assure you guys that there are no amount of likes on TikTok that my child could get that would convince me to buy something I didn't already want. So the only reason Sophie's getting a bearded dragon, besides the fact that you guys gave her a lot of likes, a thousand likes, a thousand likes is because I really want a bearded dragon too. And it, we've been like studying 24 seven. Like I woke up in the night and couldn't sleep and was reading up on it more. Like been watching videos and talking to a lot of people and figuring things out and getting prepared. So, um, I can't scratch this too much right now because yeah. I use it for when I'm getting on. Yeah. So I can work on getting on, so I like scratch it and I jump on. Yeah, okay, so are you guys gonna be okay in here by yourself while I go deal with the bearded dragon stuff? No. I'm trying to order. Look, look he loves it. I know he does. <laughs> Yay! Give him your back to scratch. Okay, scratch my back. Finny, don't bite me though. Oh, up a little to the left. A little to the left, Finn. A little to the right. A little to the right. Yes. A little to the left. A little to the left. Feels good, you guys. It's just when they nip. 
that's not that's a bit scary oh yes feels so good oh that was a nip <laughs> I always wait that one minute too long. Anyways, we can't do in-store shopping. We have to shop through like, I have to phone them and message them and tell them what I want and they send me pictures. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, I got everything we needed ordered. Like I had a list this long of things. So Sophie got it, has a tank already. We got it last night. We're, she's gonna do a tank tour, a I'm setup to her on, on her TikTok. So if you guys wanna know, I'm gonna show it on the on the video yeah, anyways first I'm gonna do yeah everything's gonna come out first on her tiktok yeah. so okay but this is really important and i really want my girls to know this this is like a huge hard lesson for me that it took me a long time to learn but basically i phoned like a bunch of different stores in our area and said like this is what i need what do you have so today i talked to this man who was a total arrogant other words that go after arrogant that I would never say. Yeah, so he's like, I know it's a swear word. But anyways, this arrogant guy that I just wanted to strangle and it just killed me to buy from him. So I told him all the things I wanted and then I was like, you know what, I cannot even deal with this guy. So then I phoned this other pet store. They had absolutely everything that I needed. So kind. How about, and she was like, so like the other guy said like, could I see a picture of blah, blah, blah. He sent me like the worst picture. It was, and it just, he didn't want to even be interested in anything that I needed. And it's going to be a sizable order. Like, I'm giving his business a huge amount of service. And so I went and I'm getting everything from this other lady. And same with farriers, same with vets, same with everybody that you meet. If you don't connect with the person that you're, like, life is too short, you guys, to spend time with idiots like for lack of a better word like if you don't relate to somebody move on and keep going because there will always be somebody to fill that person's shoes there will always be somebody who's kind always be somebody who deserves your business it took me a really long time to realize that i spent a lot of years wasted working with people that stressed me out because of their bad work ethics and i'm sure some of those people were like oh, she stresses me out because she always asks a million questions and yeah, like it has to go both ways, but never again in life. Gabby! She always slams the door in my face. She's like, you know what? If you can't keep coming, then I can't stand here and wait for you. You have to hold Finn first. Oh, I have to hold the horses. But anyways, let that be a lesson to all of us. Don't waste your time on people who don't deserve it. Do not. If somebody gives you the runaround, then pff, say goodbye. Just go and move on. And I learned that through the whole farrier situation and other situations. I'll never work with people that stress me out ever again. Life is too short, but I want you guys to know that and I want my kids to know that. Uh, I used to feel bad if I turned my back on someone. I used to always feel responsible if I didn't get along with somebody or they didn't meet my expectations. It was my problem, not their problem. Rudeness is rudeness, guys. Never, don't make other people's problems your own. Yeah, that's my rant for today and I'm excited. Excited to show you guys all the stuff that Sophie's getting and all the stuff she has and where we're at in our situation. But yeah, soon. Big reveal coming soon. That is how, that's how Texas Blanket gets ripped. Ooh, see, yep, yeah, that's the spot. He just grabbed a hold of him in that spot. Just wait, Chino, look, I'm gonna show them. So I just brought Chino Bambino a new neck. It's not the neck that goes with this blanket, so I'm gonna have to get Gabby to double check it. See, it looks okay. I don't like when other horses are rough housing. So, I just don't know if he can put his head down all the way. Get away from us. Get. Sorry about your luck, but I don't want any funny business. Oh gosh, look at poor Texas blanket. That guy's just going right after that one spot. Guys, it finally happened. Gabby finally got a package. If I change my coat, can... yeah, her package. She finally got a. She finally got a package. Don't you know that you're beautiful?